Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, today I'm planning to do one uh, video tutorial for those uh, new engineers. Okay, by the way, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can always click the notification bell if you want to be notified if I have a new uh, tutorial video upload, okay? Now today, what I'm planning to do is to give you an idea about or regarding fire scenario in a building, okay? Now, uh, if the building have uh, a building management system, so what is happening when there is a fire scenario, okay? Now, first, uh, this fire scenario in a building will handle several low current system, okay? Now, uh, in a fire scenario, the, the system that will play the major role is the FDAS, fire alarm and detection system, and at the, the same time, the firefighting system, okay? Uh, so there are several low current system that is connected to this uh, fire scenario, okay? Now, what are these uh, low current system? First, okay, uh, we have a paging system. Now, paging system will be the one to uh, announce if there is a fire uh, or a fire alarm in the building, okay? Now, let's say uh, smoke is being detected in a building. After, I think, one minute, then the paging system will try to announce that there is a fire uh, alarm in a building then the occupant or the tenants of the building will be uh, given instruction. How are they going to uh, go to the escape route in the building? Let's say they will be guided that they will not be able to use the elevator system. So they have to use the uh, staircase, okay? If it is a high rise building, okay? So paging system will be the one to announce the current or the ongoing fire alarm in the building. Then it is also, this fire scenario also is connected to the access control system. So what this access control system is going to respond in the fire scenario. Now access control system, uh, the gate barriers are uh, included in this access control system. So what happens if there is fire scenario? All the gate barriers will automatically open, meaning the gate barrier arm will go to the open position to allow all the cars in a building, if there is some car parking area there, to go out of the building, okay? Now, uh, what other uh, low current system? Okay, so access control, then paging system. Okay, now uh, let's say those are the low current system that is connected to the fire scenario. Now for the mechanical system, okay, for the mechanical system, I have here in my graphics. Okay, so let's try, uh, let, let me try to discuss this, the fire scenario graphics. Okay, but first let me go to the full screen. Okay, now, uh, I already explained that low current systems such as gate barrier, access control, paging system will be uh, automatically activated, okay? Now, for the mechanical system. Now, I have here the mechanical system graphics for a fire scenario in a building. So what are these uh, uh, fire-related mechanical system? First, Okay, now in the event of fire, all of the mechanical system that is not related to fire, like air handling unit, exhaust fan, kitchen exhaust fan, and other fans that is not included in the firefighting system will be automatically shut down. Okay, now as you can see here, I have here my air handling unit. Now in its... Uh, uh, here, let me show you here in zone B and zone D. I have zone B and zone D. Now here, I have several air handling unit in each floor. Okay, in basement, I'll be having uh, several two air handling unit. Then in ground floor, I have two air handling unit. Then in uh, first floor, I have two air handling unit and the mezzanine. 
Our second floor, I have two air handling units. Okay, then uh, I have up to, uh, this is up to fourth floor, I have this several air handling unit. So this air handling units, okay, and the one installed at the roof, HU24 and HU23, this air handling unit will automatically uh, will be shut down by the fire alarm system. Okay, so how does it happen that this air handling unit will be shut down automatically in the event of fire? Now, what is going on is the fire alarm people, they will install one uh, relay module inside the motor control of an air handling unit. Now, the control voltage will be uh, connected to the normally close contact of the relay module. So in the event of fire, based on the programming of the fire alarm engineer, this control relay module installed inside the motor control of the air handling unit that is not supposed to run during fire will open the control uh, supply or control voltage to the motor control. So if it opens, then the uh, air handling unit will automatically stop. Now, uh, also in the building management system, like me, if I'm the one writing the control logic, I always consider if there is fire, I have to stop my uh, command to the air handling unit. So let's say the relay module of the fire alarm people fails, then my control logic will try to stop also this air handling unit. So meaning there are two ways of stopping this air handling unit in the event of fire. Okay, so exhaust fan and kitchen exhaust fan, then this air handling unit that is not related to fire alarm system will be automatically shut down. Okay, so here in this fire scenario, as you can see, there are so many information. Because as I said, when I'm the one doing the, when I'm the one doing the, the BMS graphics for a certain project, I always think of the facility management. Actually, this graphics is not included in the uh, specification. This is just a freebie from me because I want the chief engineer or the facility manager or the facility engineer of the project will be able to know. When there is fire in the building, he will just sit in front of my BMS computer, then he will try to monitor. Because in the event of fire, everything will run in automatic, okay? So there will be no uh, interaction with technicians. So if you know what I'm trying to say, there will be no manual interaction. Everything will run automatically when there is fire. Those equipment that needs to stop, they will automatically stop. Okay, so no technician will go there and shut it down. So everything will be running in automatic. Okay, so air handling unit, exhaust fan, kitchen exhaust fan, and other fans not related to fire alarm will automatically stop. Now, all these fans that is related to firefighting will automatically start or will keep on running. So I will give you an idea. Okay, now here I have here TFAU3. ERU3, TFAU2, ERU2. So I have here two big air handling unit uh, located on the mechanical floor or the near the rooftop of the building. Now, what in the event of fire, this air handling unit will keep on running because what they will do, they will supply fresh air to the to this duct. This is the duct, okay? Then each duct there will be. Uh, motorized uh, fire dampers that will allow to uh, supply fresh air in a, in each floor okay so meaning uh, of course this will be based on the uh, program of the fire alarm engineer let's say they can program let's say in my third floor there will be smoke alarm in this area so what will happen this this uh, motorized smoke fire damper will open. So all the, uh, okay, meaning air will be delivered in this area, okay? So it will push, if there is a smoke, it will be pushed in this area, okay? Now this is my atrium, okay? So this is the atrium, meaning if there is a, smoke here it will be pushed going to the atrium level, uh, atrium okay 
then uh, it will be sucked by these smoke extraction funds. Okay, so uh, so that is the purpose of some of the air hauling unit that is keeps on running when there is fire. Okay, so this uh, ERU two and PFAU two will be running to supply fresh air from the area. So meaning uh, it will supply air at the uh, I think, as you can see here, it is open in uh, ground floor. Okay, it is open in ground floor. So meaning they will, it will supply air, okay, in that level, okay. Then it will try to push, if there are smoke in the building, it will try to push this uh, smoke going to the atrium, okay, where the smoke extraction funds are located. Now, in this project, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six big smoke extraction funds. So when there is fire, automatically this air handling unit, this four air handling unit, okay, TFAU3, TFAU2, and ERU2 and 3 will run, okay, to provide uh, fresh air at the bottom, okay. Then there are some other sequence of operation here based on the programming of the fire engineer. Okay, so I'm just trying to explain the typical response of this air handling unit in the event of fire. Okay, so it will try to supply air here in the ground floor level so that it will try to push if there are smoke going to the atrium level, atrium where at the top of the atrium I have there the smoke extraction plants. Now, uh, there will be also a smoke uh, fire dampers, okay, uh, that will automatically open. So these are dampers and damper equator. This will automatically open when there is fire. Then these big smoke extract extraction pumps will run also, okay. Then this air handling unit will try to supply fresh air at, at this level. So if there is smoke, it will be pushed to the atrium, then it will be vented out out of the building okay so smoke extraction pan then air handling unit that supplies fresh air at the ground floor level okay then air handling unit that needs to be stopped will stop okay now here i have also here my staircase pressurization now in my previous tutorial i already explained the function of staircase pressurization you want to know it then you can just visit that uh, Tutorial, okay. So here, in this project, I have three staircase, okay. So staircase one, two, and three. Now, uh, as I said, uh, staircase and lip lobby, we are trying to pressurize it to prevent the smoke from entering the area. Because as we know, staircase uh, is the main escape route of the tenants of the building, okay. So by pressurizing the staircase and lip lobby, we are preventing the smoke from entering this area, okay? Now, as you can see here, uh, you will be able to see, if you are the, the facility engineer, you will be able to see what are the response of my firefighting equipment, okay? So you will be able to see here what is the, uh, uh, the setting in the BFD of my... Uh, SPF01. So as you can see here, in my uh, high speed is 50, and I think low speed is. Uh, let me try to. Okay, so that we can we will be able to see. Okay, so 50. So high high uh, high speed. Okay, will be 50 hertz. Then low limit, high limit. 50 hertz, then low limit is around, I think this is around 15 hertz, okay? So meaning the, the, the fan will not really stop. It will just go to the low limit speed. Let's say if it is 15, it will stay at 15 hertz just to provide the, um, or to pressurize the staircase. Now, uh, this one will go to low limit speed when, uh, the all doors of this staircase are closed, okay? And it is, I mean, when the low speed is more than enough to maintain the 50 Pascal requirement in the staircase, okay? Likewise, this uh, lip lobby pressurization pan will 
do the same thing. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, the pressure to be maintained when all door closed in the staircase is around 50 Pascal. Then in the lip lobby area, it's around 32 Pascal or 35 Pascal. Now, this pressure setting are adjustable, okay? So we are doing a way so that uh, maybe during testing, if you need to adjust the set point setting, then the operator can always adjust. No need to call for the uh, programmer to adjust the set point, okay? So we are doing, especially if I'm the one doing the BMS, I will do my program flexible so the operator can always adjust some settings, okay? So here, when you are sitting in front of this uh, computer, when there is fire, you will be able to monitor what's going on in my uh, building when there is fire scenario, okay? Now I have here some information like this main fire alarm control panel. So you will be able to see here, is there fire alarm? Of course, if this equipment runs, meaning there will be fire alarm. Now, as you can see here, there is, it is not running because there is no fire. So fire alarm is normal. Now I have some supervisory alarm and trouble alarm. Now this supervisory alarm is like when someone closes a sound control bulb, okay? Then trouble alarm when there are some smoke detector that are uh, dirty, okay? Then I have also showing here the fire pump or the fire fighting pumps. Jackie pump up, electric pump up, diesel pump up, okay? Then I have here my setting for uh, pressure set point for SPF here. So I'm setting around 35, okay? So when I set it to 35, then it will come here. It will be able to uh, maintain around 50 Pascal here, okay? Now, this relief damper set point, this is the set point for my relief damper when it will open to prevent high pressure in this area, okay? So if the pressure is building up, then the relief damper will open to vent out some of the pressure, okay? So, to, so that the necessary pressure set, setting or the necessary pressure requirement in the staircase will be obtained, okay? So this is how a fire scenario in a building with building management system. Okay, now actually uh, this fire scenario can be monitored also in their main uh, fire alarm panel. They will be having also their uh, computer there to monitor what is going on in the building when there is fire. But for me, when I'm doing the BMS, I am preparing also one graphics that will help the engineers or the people maintaining the building so that they will be able to know what is going on when there is fire scenario in the building. Okay, now as I said, uh, everything will be controlled by the fire alarm. Okay, now only in the staircase pressurization. BMS will be the one to, uh, to control the pressure in the staircase and lift lobby. So this is the only scope of uh, <clears throat> BMS to maintain the pressure requirement in the staircase and lift lobby. But everything that is controlled by fire, it will automatically run, okay? So the fire alarm people will be the one responsible in turning on and turning off all this HVAC equipment that is related to firefighting system, okay? So guys, this is the fire scenario in a building. Now, each fire scenario or each uh, building, they have their own uh, e mechanical equipment that is related to firefighting system, okay? So every building, they have their own design. So this is the design in this project, okay? So again, uh, I think uh, I have given you some idea or I have given you the clear picture of what is going on when there is fire scenario in a building, okay? So once again, uh, this is Santos Capillan Jr. always saying, uh, God bless us all, and I do hope uh, this 
tutorial will help the new engineer to give, to give them an idea of fire scenario in a building. Okay, so again, if you are new, my, new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can always hit the notification bell. Okay, then once again, Santos Capilian will always say God bless us all and bye for now.